I don't even know what to say. It's negative 30 degrees out in the beautiful state of Minnesota. I just got done seeing Take Thren, Taken 3. It is, it is really bad. It's one of the worst movies I've seen. Oh, we're in 2015. What a great fucking start. I don't consider the first Taken to be an amazing film. I think it was a good action flick. It was, it was a nice change of pace from the superhero stuff. Uh, I'd give it like a, an 8, I guess. Taken 2 was a total pile of dog shit, and number 3 continues suit. It is very clear this should have been a one-off franchise, but no, we had to have three movies, and uh, Hollywood seems to have put even less into the third installment than the last two combined. They're, the special effects are ridiculously bad. The shaky cam is insanely overused. Uh, there, there's, there's shots where there's just a cop car sitting still, and the camera will like, zoom in and out six times on the license plate. License plate has zero value. We're just doing it to make everything so intense. It's clear they didn't want to take any time doing choreography. Instead, they mask it with quick jump cuts and quick uh, hand motions and nothing else. There's no value. John Wick blew this out of the water. If you want to see some good hand-to-hand, -hand, if you want to see some uh, masterful camera work, go to John Wick. Well, rent it or buy it, actually, whatever. Liam Neeson is Liam Neeson. I don't even know the guy's name. We have three movies and I still, it's like Brian something, I think. This is the third installment. We know nothing about this guy other than he loves his family, loves his daughter and his wife. Obviously the plot is the wife dies, he's framed for murder. It's kind of a fugitive slash uh, born identity situation, but it doesn't have any of the creativity that those films have. Instead we have multiple car chases that are very poorly done. He, I think he actually kills six or seven people in a high-speed chase. I'm innocent. I didn't kill my wife, but I, I, I did actually just kill like five women back there. But don't worry about them. I will stretch my imagination very far for action films, but there's a point where he falls down an elevator shaft in a car. The whole fucking building blows up from this, and it just jump cuts to him in another scene talking on his phone. How did he get out? There's really not much to like. There's maybe one or two good shots in the whole flick. Everything else is a throwaway. I really don't have much else to say. I am going to feud with Jonathan Paula next week. Taken Trilogy versus the Bourne Trilogy. And I... I mean, Bourne is obviously better at this point. I think I think if the other two Taken movies were as strong as the first, we'd have ourselves a fight. But I don't even know what the hell we're going to do. We're going to have to do rock, paper, scissors to see who defends this shitty series. I'm going to give this a 3 out of 10. Do not see it. Keep what remains of the Taken franchise intact with the first one. Just keep that one in your mind. Skip two if you never saw it. Skip three for sure. My buddy turned to me about the hour and a half mark and says, nobody actually got taken in this one. In which I replied, oh yes, a whole lot of people got taken. Everybody in the audience. <laughs>